Hi, this is Teo from Pagablocks.com. Today I'm going to show you these pencils. These are Mitsubishi High Uni drawing pencils. My friend James Tan, he recently went to Tokyo and he bought some pencils, so he passed two to me to try. He said these are like buttery smooth. So um, today I'm going to do some drawings with them and apply watercolor over the lines and see how well they fare. Mitsubishi. I'm not sure if this is the same company that makes refrigerators, washing machines, cars and trucks, but the logo looks like it is that company. So let me just start by sharpening pencils. I have 4B and 9B today with me. I have finished sharpening. These are really very well made pencil. The surface finishing is very nice. There's this nice gloss and the words are printed very sharp with a certain indent on it. At the back here, it has the grading. So these pencils come in 10H, which is the hardest to 10B, the softest. Let me start with some shading first. Let me use this 4B pencil and see what kind of tones it can give me. The range of tones it can. This is a fine grain texture paper that I'm using today. I'm not pressing too hard. Let me press a bit harder. It is quite smooth and it really works very well on the paper. So that's 4B. Let's try the 9B. 9B has a thicker core for the diameter. And it is actually very, very smooth. It's almost like, not quite like butter, but very close. So very nice. The paper is off-white. Usually when I use pencils, I just use them for line work. I'm not very good at shading. So um, yeah, I'm not good at fine art and stuff like that. So I use pencils like I use them with pens. Although sometimes I do use it for shading because um, it's very fast, it's very nice, very good for shading. Like in this case, maybe on the shade, this guy here. I'm just going to do a very quick sketch today, um, just to save time. I really enjoy using this pencil. This is really quite smooth and has a very solid feel to it. On Amazon, I read that one guy said that, quote, these are some of the best graphite pencils, unquote. So that's very high praise and it does feel that way to me as well. So really quite nice. This is yellow ochre. Goes over the pencils very nicely. When you use pencils with watercolor, you get a very textural feel because pencil is such a traditional media. It's, it works so well with watercolor. Oftentimes, I find it very difficult to get a pencil that is dark enough. Usually when I apply, if I use a 2B pencil and I apply watercolor over it, sometimes the 2B lines, they sort of don't show up after you apply watercolor over it. So using a 4B for watercolor uh, drawings, I think it's uh, quite appropriate. And yeah, I would recommend you use 4B and darker for watercolors. So this is the quick watercolor sketch with um, the pencil and core watercolors QOR watercolors I'm still trying to finish using that 
Let me try my hand at a portrait and see how well this pencil does. I don't usually use pencils for drawing like this, like shading, because I'm not good. I still need a lot of practice. So just now I was using the fine grain papers. This is the this is much smoother, so I prefer to use smoother paper when it comes to drawing, when it comes to shading, because you don't have to um, use too much pressure to force the graphite into the values of the paper. I'm going to switch to this 9B. I'm not going to go any further with this sketch. These are really very nice pencils, the high uni pencils by Mitsubishi. They lay down graphite very nicely. And it's very easy to control as well. The 9B, which is supposed to be very soft, is it is very soft, but it is not as brittle compared to other brands. So I can lay down the graphite like this, and you you don't see a lot of those graphite little bits coming out of the pencil. And with other pencils, many times, oftentimes, I see that kind of thing coming out, and it may actually affect your work. So. Mitsubishi High Uni 9B, this is really very good. These Mitsubishi pencils are really high quality pencils. The best thing I like about them is I, for the darker pencils like the 9B, 8B, even though they are soft, they are considered soft, but they are not brittle like other brands that I have used before. So that is really the main advantage of this Mitsubishi pencil. I really recommend them. You can buy them individually at art stores, but if you are buy them online, you are probably going to see them being sold in packs, maybe of 12, 20 and above. If you buy the box set, there's one box set that sells for US $30, comes with 22 pencils from 10H all the way to 10B. So if you are, if you want to invest in a good set of pencil, um, that is the set to go for, the one with 22 pencils. That's all for today's review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more reviews of art products, art books, sketching tips and techniques. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.